I mean, we are very choosy in identifying these faces because you cannot, talk, you cannot talk about young people claiming the democratic space in the Gambia without talking about the likes of the faces that we are seeing in here today. So today we are here bringing young leaders from different parts of the country, both that are in the mainstream civil society and political space and those that are in the community championing community development, changing the narrative in the community. So we've brought these minds together to define what is next for the young people in our democratic future. How do we claim the democratic space? This is called claiming the democratic space. It's not like waiting for the democratic space to be given to us. It's us taking charge of our affairs, us controlling our sectors. We don't only need young people to occupy this space but having competent young people to occupy this space. The, the, the agenda of what is next, I think, is really important and it entails a lot. Um, that, has to, that has covered um, uh, a lot of areas that we need to look into as young people. What is next for Gambian democracy is to see how we can take up affirmative action and commitment to come up with a position paper that would not only be achievable, but it's attainable, realistic, and also it's time-bound. Coming from different backgrounds, working in different areas, we all have divergent views and we all have our own perspectives of how things should be done better. So as you can see, they're currently working in a group and where they're identifying certain challenges and solutions. And um, these solutions that they're identifying, we're going to be using these solutions to develop a country position document that would outline what is it next for democracy for young people in the Gambia. Uh, we want to suggest that the anti-corruption commission bill should be a priority right now to be to be passed as law in order to promote accountability. Um, that the government should revamp the entire education system to incorporate um, TVET, STEM, and also the affordability of tertiary um, education. So we want young people to be. To, to participate in this making process in our communities, uh, this will really help. I believe there is much to be learned, not just from the successes, but also the failures that have come out of all of the experience that we have gathered, not just for the past five years, but the past 50 something years. So the, the, the leaders that are there right now, they have succeeded in certain ways. They've also failed in certain ways. What do we take from that as young people? So this What's Next campaign is a global campaign whereby different countries We'll be having these sessions and we're going to be identifying the challenges and the opportunities, the way forward and what is it next for young people around the world. The recommendations that we come up with as individuals and collectively as civil society uh, can go a long way in ensuring that we are able to attain a model of democracy that we would really be proud of as a country. <laughs>